prepare to gather around the table. I want to read some scripture from Hebrews chapter 4. and it's, it's a pretty familiar verse to most of us. Therefore, since we have a great high priest who has ascended into heaven, Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold firmly to the faith we profess, for we do not have a high priest who is unable to empathize with our weakness, but we have one who has been tempted in every way, just as we are, yet he did not sin. Let us therefore approach God's throne of grace with confidence, so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need. You know, if you go into most business offices today or, or buildings of any sort, uh, you're going to find when you walk through the front door, you probably can't go through the second door. There is security usually at most of these doors and you have to have either a, a swipe card to get in or uh, somebody will buzz you in and if you're in a really high tech company, they'll scan your retina today to let you in. And once you get in these buildings, probably about every 10 feet, you'll see a camera following everywhere you go. You know, I recall when I applied for my first uh, technical job in computers, it was in 1979. I was a senior in high school and uh, I was applying for a job right outside of uh, Washington, D.C. In October of my senior year, I filled out a paper application, <laughs> which you don't even do today. And I had to put the basic information about, you know, what I worked on in school, my school administrator names they wanted at that point, references, and my job history of one job working at the local grocery store. <laughs> Around January, I received a call from one of my references and said, hey, somebody just came to my door asking about you. I said, hmm, that's interesting. And then I received some other calls from some other people that people were visiting their homes to ask about me. I didn't think much about it at the, job, at the time because the job I had applied for was working for the federal government. In April of 1980, I received a call to come to headquarters in Langley, Virginia. And when I, before I could park my car, in the parking lot of the headquarters, there was a guard booth, and I had to present my name. Then once I got to park and I got to the front door, there was another person waiting for me. And again, I had to present my name. They guided me to a big room and told me, somebody will be with you in a few minutes. And all I can remember about the room is there was a map of the world. That's all I remember. And 45 minutes later, someone showed up. And looking back, I'm glad I was a rather calm person because having someone sit for 45 minutes when you're told somebody will be with you makes a lot of people really anxious. The interview lasted about an hour and I was told to come back the next day. They're going to give me a test on computer skills and mathematics. I'm happy to say I was offered a job. However, I turned it down. It just wasn't the right fit for a 17-year-old boy at that time. I bring this story up uh, to you today because in society, no matter where we go, we have to pass through a security door or get buzzed in or swipe a card. Today, if you walk into any one of our public schools or private schools, try to get through that front door. and They're watching every move you make. And I get why they're doing that. Many of us even have cameras in our homes today watching outside. I recently installed a security system around my home. You know, in verse 16 of the scripture I just read, let us then approach God's throne of grace with confidence. Doesn't say nothing about having to get buzzed into heaven. Doesn't say we need to have a password. It doesn't say I need a swipe card. It, all it says is we need to approach the throne of God with confidence, with the faith we profess in the name of Jesus, so that we may receive his mercy and grace. Just think about that for a minute, how blessed we are. We live in a society where we have to buzz everything, but the most important thing in life is when Jesus sees us, there's no password, there's no buzzard. We just get to go in. 
any time, day or night, we can approach God. We can pray to him at any time, wherever we are. Mm -hmm. No matter what our station in life is, he will meet us if we humbly approach his throne. It also says he can empathize with us. Many people are going through so many issues today and have over the past few years and, and through eternity. Uh, you know, since, since God created Adam and Eve, there's been problems here. And it says we may go to God's throne and he will empathize with us. We have access to the creator for everything we do. And we have that because of Jesus Christ, his son, who gave his life for us. And he did this by shedding his blood so that someday we may stand before God sinless and righteous. Will you pray, pray with me right now as we reflect on what Jesus did? And it's because of him that we could come before this table today and that someday we can come before the throne of God and be declared righteous and one of his. Heavenly Father, we thank you for what Jesus did because we all know there's nothing we could do with any of our works, with anything we say that can get us into heaven. It's only because of the blood of Jesus Christ. And that's what we're here right now as we reflect on what Christ did when he hung on that cross for us. We thank you, Lord, for the love of Jesus Christ that he had for all of mankind, that he left heaven, which was perfect, and came to earth to suffer and to die because of our sins. Father, be with us now as we take of the bread which uh, represents the body that was given on behalf of us. And we pray this in your holy name. Amen.